Hello, and welcome into this Green Bros Model M Dry Trimmer Cleaning Tutorial. Let's go over how to best clean your trimmer. Before you get started, please make sure you have the following items on hand. Scotch-Brite pads, microfiber cloths, Selco metal polish, isopropyl alcohol, Green Bros resin clear, Teflon, Hub screw and hub key are not required for cleaning, but available for purchase. To get started, disconnect your power supply. Next, disconnect the HMI box or control box on older models and screw on the watertight caps on the side of the machine. This will keep your electronics safe and dry while you clean your machine. Open the lid and remove the upper and center fin. Remove the hub screw and welded key which can both be stored in the slots above the control panel to prevent losing them. Lift the upper blade off the motor shaft. There is a convenient storage hook located on the left side of the Model M. When hanging the blade, position the hub facing the machine to allow room for the lower blade as well. Remove the bottom blade. Opening the exit door slightly can make removing the lower blade easier. Remove the barrel and store it on the right hand side of the Model M. Next, remove the exit door and place it on a safe surface for cleaning. Using two people, the top of the Model M can be separated from the base for deep cleaning. Lift straight up and, once clear of the funnel, move the top of the Model M to a clean, sturdy surface for deep cleaning. The Model M is constructed almost entirely from stainless steel which can be cleaned using a microfiber cloth and 99% isopropyl alcohol. The reversible tray is removed by lifting and can be installed as a tray or a shelf. When cleaning the Model M top blade, the hub will prevent the blade from sitting flat on the table. Applying pressure in this position can result in warping your blade. Please position the top blade at the edge of a table with the hub hanging over the side to help maintain flatness. Please take extra caution when handling the blades as a uniformly flat blade is imperative to your Model M's effectiveness. When cleaning the bottom blade, take caution not to bend or warp the blade while cleaning and do not allow the isopropyl alcohol to touch the Teflon ring in the center of the blade as that could degrade your Teflon ring and create a need to replace that ring more rapidly than otherwise expected. If your Teflon ring is showing signs of wear, it can be replaced by peeling the old ring off, cleaning the surface, and applying a new Teflon ring. These Teflon rings are readily available through our online store at shopgreenbros.com. Now it's time to reassemble your Model M. When installing the top of the Model M back onto the cart, take care to avoid pinching motor cables or your own hands on the funnel. Place the exit door in the exit door slot. Next, replace the barrel. The barrel has slots that correspond to the motor mounting bracket. Slide the barrel into the Model M, ensuring the barrel is fully seated. Prior to installing the bottom blade, open the exit door. The tab on the bottom blade will fit in this opening. Like the barrel, there are two slots on the lower blade that align with the motor mount bracket. These tabs and slots must be flush to ensure a proper blade fit. While the Teflon ring reduces most or all friction between the top and bottom blade, some clients prefer a small amount of Green Bros Resin Clear between their blades. Simply add a small drop or two to the bottom blade's outer edge at three evenly spaced locations like a triangle. Install the top blade and rotate to align the key slots as seen in the video. Place the welded key in the slot and secure with the hub screw. The hub screw should be hand tight and does not need excess tightening. Replace the lower and upper fins into your Model M trimming chamber. The electrical box is mounted by a dovetail bracket. Drop into position to secure. Plug in motor and sensor cables. 
reconnect your power supply. If you've successfully followed these reassembly steps and your Model M will not start, check the alignment of the lid sensor. While the lid is closed, the sensor light should have an amber light. The sensor can be adjusted to ensure proper alignment. And that's it. You are now ready to resume trimming your harvest. Please email gbzsupport at greenbros.com or call 844-DRY-TRIM with any questions, troubleshooting tips, or technical support you may require.